be in the midfield role tonight. They'll certainly play it around in this heat because it's, uh, the temperatures have been over 100. Now it's tough cow trying to win it back. Can't make any progress there. Demianenko. Nice kill by Sia I think he might become simply Sulak very quickly. Nice ball through for blocking. I think that's the first touch that only blocking has had. And good skills down the wing. Got good speed. Keeps the ball in play. Shengali has made a run down the middle. Not a bad cross either. And in for the header. And that wasn't a bad effort at all. Fine effort. And it was the head of Andre Val that put the ball just wide of that right hand upright. Zaginho can't find Zico, so another chance to uh, have a look at blocking. Demianenko, now blocking wide, he's now brought into play. And eventually it's Leandro, but given away once more. And he's left to Dersu to make the break on the right. Better off once more, coming forward now and finding Blockin. He turns and takes the ball back towards the halfway line. A little bit thought in everything that Oleg Blockin does. He's given it away. He's blocking. Good skills, good ball control. Blockin and found his man. Well cut out by Lubaus. And they played no fewer than 15 warm up matches in Europe and Latin America to get it right for these World Cup finals. Now Blockin. Build up, Gavrilov can't leave it up. And tries to sort something out for the Russians. Fires a good long pass out to that right hand side. What a good ball that was. There's only Shengalia really in the middle of the way, Matt. The Russians press it up. Locking. So he still managed to find a way through. And picked up by blocking. Turning the compliment, he'll now bring. Now for Blockin, who's got Shangeli wide on the right. Now oh, has he got the legs of Oscar? But the ball goes over. Going to fall to Socrates. Oh, what good skill! Shangeli's up, laying it up for Damianenko to get up there. Playing the ball wide for Blockin. He's trying to work it. He's onto his left foot. Still getting into a shooting position, only clocking, and that could have been dangerous. Came off the boot for Brazilian defender Vladimir Betanov. Blocking, just uh, looking to play the ball wide for Demianenko. He's made a good start for this game. To Gavrilov. Metanov had gone wide, now blocking. Oh, danger when he's got the ball. And when the Russians scored, well, it has to go down as a very stupid goal for the Brazilians to concede. Now blocking. Oh, Gabriel, really quick in stop Brazil. Blocking, taking on his man, Luzinho. For him running the ball out. And the linesman wanted to give a corner kick. And Valdir Perez ball went into the side netting. But there is a certain lack of communication between Valdir Perez and his central defenders. Nobody seems to know whose ball that was going to be. No wonder mentioned by Baldaka from Darasalia. away from him, the Brazilian defender there, blocking continued his run, and now here is Shengalia, back to blocking, promising run that, and Oleg blocking, known as the Ukrainian gazelle, and at one time used to train with the great Valery Bortsov, showing his paces early in the second half, that's a useful ball to uh, block in, and in fact the flag has gone up, over on this near side beneath us, Andrew. It didn't quite work.
work. Now the Russians on with one of those lightning breaks and blocking, showing his speed. Gavrilov, Gavrilov surely will hit it himself. Oh! Ball really went high into the Spanish noise. Uh, I would think almost a capacity crowd here. And what for is used it to advantage to get blocking going down that left hand side. And Leandrin had to be sharp and quick in the tackle. And uh, a teasing cross, Paolo Isidore. It was a little too high for him, but Leandro will keep it coming. Locked down for blocking this time. And for the players, whether they can hear him from there is debatable in this din. Still coming forward, blocking and held up by Leandro. Again, the referee's... <laughs> Letting him down that time, so Shengalia comes forward for Russia and works his way brilliantly between the uh, three Brazil. Luke, who is good at the moment, seen so much of it in the second half, and now blocking, who's not had much chance to shine. He's lost it. A three kick. No, it's not. The referee was pointing for a free kick. The crowd certainly felt so as well. He appears to give that decision and then change his mind. Well, still no shortage of incident in this second half. Oh, blocking that really was a lucky bounce for him off the legs of Luzinho. And he's got a corner kick out of it. And what's more, he's almost demolished a photographer. It's actually his World Cup debut, Perez. Well, the finals debut, that is. And he'll be happy that they've managed to work the ball to Betanov. Very good ball from him, picking out the uh, block in on the right. So still useful, almost got back. One ball, the Russian master defender, Leandro. Good catch, one for what a fine game Dafay has had. Now blocking a one against one situation. He's away in front of Luizinho, who is trying to hold him back. What good skill by the former European footballer of the year blocking. There might still be something on because there are three Russians here. He's blocking tries to get the shot. I thought he was going for the shot. In fact, he was just both over away from Chengalia. Generous of course. It's a rare moment uh, for the Russians to come forward with blocking. Oh, handball! That must have been a handball. Well, what on earth is happening now? They've been brought to life here in this match, and uh, there'll be certainly plenty to talk about after it. So much incident, as well as two goals. Goals would have hoped for better. Might yet get it, Seguinho. That one falls rather. Now, Betanov for Russia. Maybe a last chance on for blocking here. And eventually denied. <laughs>